Virgos. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for joining. This is A Touch of Tarot. This is going to be what's coming in for you for November. We'll see what the message is. Super excited. If you want to see the extended, it's always on Patreon, okay? Um, one price for the whole month. <laughs> That's my thing. So let's see what's coming up for Virgo, please. We're going to get three cards. I'm going to clarify. Um, we'll see what's happening. Wow, you already got... Three cards all at once. So give me a minute to take a look at these. Wow. Wow. Okay. And your message, honestly, it looks like you actually have a divine partner coming in. Now, I will say this for some of you that you're like, oh, I already have someone on my mind. Well, if the person that was on your mind was like a Peter Pan energy, they will be coming in with a much more mature Lord of the Forest energy, someone who has a plan, someone who is ready to take those deep growth steps in a relationship. Um, but I'll get to that after, okay? So let me tell you what's going on, Virgo. I feel like in your recent past, you've shut out all the chaos. You've shut down anything that was kind of annoying you. And you're like, you know what? What's meant for me will come to me. I'm seeing a very beautiful, attractive Virgo here that I'm sure many people would be attracted to just by your calm energy knowing. I'm almost getting like one of the Kardashian energies from this. The one of the, the mature sister. I know, I don't know much about them, but there's one that has kids and I feel like she's quite mature. Maybe the older one. Um, but just a stillness, like you've learned lessons, like you know what's going on in the world. You probably have a lot of little, um, I don't know why I want to say like little guys, but a lot of uh, people around you that, you know, want to be with you, would love to give you to give you anything you want, um, would reach all of your demands um, for you. But that's not what you're interested in. You're interested in something that's very much so like a divine eternal connection that can't be broken with someone who's on the same level as you. And this is all about being still and just allowing and knowing what's meant for you is coming to you because you're so aware and so awoke and just so still that you get the knowledge and the messages coming towards you that are like, hey, the universe is here. We are bringing you your divine counterpart. We love you. Um, we're shining for you or you're shining for us or something, whatever type of conversation the universe has with you. But get this, okay? Um, now, when I see these two cards together, it already provokes something because the energy is quite much the same. We have the Prince of Light. This is all about new beginnings. This is a peacemaker. This is all about a potential relationship um, that I feel is your perfect match. And I just saw a little fly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, anyways, I feel that this is your perfect match. I feel that this person that is coming your way has actually trans uh, gone through a transition as well. I feel like this person was a bit of a Peter Pan, maybe avoiding responsibilities, maybe even having other responsibilities where they didn't want to be um, kind of getting themselves in the deep end of things, you know, and I feel like this person has grown. This person may have been isolated, may have gone through a divorce, um, maybe young, maybe has never gone through any of this. Maybe it'll be a brand new type of love for this person. But I do see that there's growth and wisdom within this person's energy. So let's clarify just a tad um, before I move on to the extended, but let's see what this is about. It's going to be a very beautiful relationship, okay, that's coming you probably do not see coming and yes I mean six of cups here I do feel that this is a very deep connection whatever this is between you two um, this is a special connection okay let's go clarify here let's go right to the masculine first so we have this mask. It's like this person comes out of nowhere. It's like they come from a different planet it's like they come from a different land a foreign land um this person, you know, you may know them. I'm not going to stray away from that because you really may. We have a page of cups, a three of cups here. It's like reunion. Um, but more importantly, I just feel like this person is ready to love you and to have a brand new beginning with you, okay? Um, this person may have come from something that's been quite disastrous in another country or somewhere around the world. But this person knows what they want. This is what the Prince of the Light is. They bring happiness where they go, new beginnings, um, fresh starts, obviously. What else do we have? The peacemaking energy. Absolutely beautiful. And, you know, you don't get to that from just knowing.
person obviously had to go through a lot. So, okay. So through, um, you know, someone walking away from you, someone being stubborn with you, someone being selfish, someone leaving you out in the cold, just so you know, the universe is telling you my hands itchy and this is my hand for yes. The universe is telling you like you are going to get rebalanced, restocked. Okay. Yeah. You're going to come out of worrying energy. I feel you're there. But I feel this was part of the transition, okay? I do feel that the universe wanted to help you to come out of your head about this situation. They're bringing you your perfect match. So let's just see what's going on here. The pan and the lord of the forest. Now, this is what this person came from. Possibly, um, maybe this person was a bit of a player at one point in their life. And I feel like this person took some time to go within. Okay, I'm being guided one more card. Yeah. So, turning this here. Um this person took some time to come in and it's almost like they got spit out in a new direction on a new level. This person is not who they used to be. That's what I get here. Um, if you feel like you know this person, it's very possible. But for those of you that don't know this person, they've let go of um, a very intricate past. Like I just feel like it's a past full of, who knows, a lot of stuff that went on. This person definitely grown out of their social circle. Okay, what's going on for Virgos? Let's see. So this is just going to be leading me into the extended, but I'll see what's coming up to let you know. Whoa. I didn't even want to see the third card. It doesn't matter. The top two say, see, okay, we'll just put it there. Um, this is exactly the... I was picking up. Sorry, my nose is itchy there. This is exactly what I'm picking up off of these two energies and this wish star down the middle, this universal connection. For some of you, what you truly wanted was a commitment, was someone who wants the same things as you, right? You want children or you want to have like bank accounts together or something like this, kind of formal with that hierophant energy. And for some, I really truly do feel that the person coming in towards you, you are going to be their first love. It's like they've been holding off for you. It's like they've had a lot of options. Um, maybe they were even with someone at one point and they were like, mm, this isn't the one. And then they start running and like never settling down type of thing. Um, but I do feel that this person went through a phase of hermit. Maybe it was during what's been going on for the last year and a half. Um, and it's changed everything in their life. It's really changed the way that they're going to come forward to you or that they're going to go forward to anyone. They're serious now. They know what they want. And when they want something, they go for it is what I'm really getting here. So in the extended, I'm going to look into what's going to be happening with this connection. I'll tell you right now, this looks like a very divine connection, regardless if you were to get married or not. It's a very committed, beautiful soul connection that you cannot deny. No one can deny it. Ooh, sun card. Are you kidding me? Um, absolutely beautiful. Okay. There may be some rough, rocky start is what I get. Okay. But it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much, Virgo, if you want to join me over there. Um, and yeah, your, your energy is here, right? But this is coming up for your person, unless you feel it's for you. Um, I'll see you over on the other side. Bye for now. So Virgo, holy. Let's go over to you first, to this lady of the song. I want to know, like, this beautiful connection is coming towards you. You you know it. You do know it. Okay, I get that you do know it. That's why you're getting the lady of the song. Um, what's that about? Let's get one more. So what I get is that um, maybe someone has made an offer to you already or something like this, but what you are looking for is a, a feeling in the heart. Very interesting. It's like you're blocking out until someone, you're holding off until someone comes through with warmth, with love, with whom you know there's a connection with. Okay, that is interesting. Um, and so this person, what's up? Oh, wow. We have a king and a queen of swords energy here, Virgo. Um, so, you know, you're going to get exactly what you want. And it may be happening literally in Scorpio season with this card at the bottom. Let's see what we get for this man here, this masculine energy, this prince of um, 
light. Okay, yeah. So no surprise seeing the Page of Wands. Definitely a beautiful um, energy here with the Queen of Cups. I'm not getting to like put those in reverse or anything like that. But let me just take a good look at this. I feel like this person is has not had, there's some sort of an issue here that they've had before. Probably they were shut out of love, but I feel like they just haven't had a true love besides their mother, maybe. And maybe their mother um, wasn't, I don't know, the most loving in love, or maybe their mom wasn't able to give them a lot of love. I mean, that can relate back to the original November video. I'll put the link below if I remember, but it talked about an abused child and, you know, it could be in many different ways. Anyhow. After this person has been shut out or closed you out, or if you know them, right, or something happened, they've had a chance to really look at things and really see the truth. Something like harsh may have happened. We have the tower here, and now they have a new perspective, right? Maybe it, that's exactly what the hangman is. Hangman. And this is what's saying here that this Peter Pan went within and came out like a new person.